Hi, lovelies. This is Cherie from Divine Visions. I hope you're all doing really well. I've had some issues with my fatigue uh, levels over the last two weeks, so I've had to have a bit of a break from readings. I've wanted to get on there a couple of times now, but I've just had to rest. Um, I'm still struggling a little bit, but I've got a bit of energy today. So I thought I would do an energy check-in for soulmates, twin flames and karmic partners. Now, I'm going to be using the Archangel Power Tarot for your person's energy. This is by Radley Valentine. And then I've got for your energy, it's going to be the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Cards. And I'm going to be checking in using the Gateway Oracle um, by Denise Lynn. And then we've got the Power to Surrender cards or the Power of Surrender cards by Judith Orloff. So let's have a look first up. Um, what's going on with your person's current energy right now? So I'm just going to quickly shuffle these and lay them out. Okay, guys. That one came flying out, so I'm going to use it. Yeah, I will use it this time. All right, so I'm just going to lay them over here. You may not be able to see them, but I've just got them all here because I've got a few cards I want to lay out today. So I've got the Gateway Oracle by Denise Lynn. I just love these cards. The illustrations, the messages are just amazing. Now they're very thick, so they're going to be different to like a bit different to lay out. And then I've got your cards, the psychic tarot for the heart cards here. I'm going to lay them over here, I think. So just bear with me right now. And then I've got the power of surrender cards by Judith Orloff. Just going to move that. Love Heart Rock. Yeah, I'll do that. That's what we're going to do here. Oh my goodness, there's cards everywhere, but this is how I want to do it today. Then I've got my divine love messages that I created myself for the end messages. Okay, I'll shuffle on them later as well. So, wow, let's have a look where your person's current energy is at right now. What, what are they doing right now? What are they doing right now? Wow, they're listening with their heart and trusting the messages that they receive in their heart. So it says, I trust the messages I receive from my heart. Let's have a look at what this is about. Now we had that other card come out, didn't we? So let's use that one to start with. So it's the eight of Ariel and we've got the three of Ariel, which are both earthy material um, it's about materialism, you know, it's about studying, it's about getting things in order, it's working hard to focus on what they actually desire, where their passions are leading them. It says on this one, take great pride in your excellent work, practice makes perfect, consider getting additional education or training. Now this is the card to do with study. Um, it's about lessons as well. You know, it's also about being greatly focused on something, being constant, like concentrating really hard on something, um, and also having a very grounded energy. But they're listening to their heart. They're following their heart. They're following their passions in life. So it could definitely be career related. They might be very focused on career or something to do with a hobby that where they're creating something. Um, there's a lot of creativity here. So do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors and working with others in a cooperative manner. So usually this is the teamwork card. I see this as a dedication to something. So this is amazing. This person is following their heart. They're paying attention to something in the material world that they really want to achieve and accomplish. Let's have a look at what else. Yeah, look, the high priestess is about intuition. They're trusting in their intuition. They're actually listening to their heart space. Rather than just logically and practically, they're also going into, it's like a balance of energies here. They're listening to their intuition. They're following their heart, um, heart's desires. There's powerful psychic insights here. Um, and a reflection and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. They're in a very good place within themselves at the moment, I feel. Um, let's see what they might need to surrender around this. 
So it's something that they need to surrender. Look, they're surrendering to trust. They're starting to trust in the process. They're starting to trust in following their heart's desires in this along this path, okay? Um, it says, trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. This couldn't have been a better card to come out because they are listening to their heart. They are trusting in their um, path here. They're working very hard at something. It could be around the home as well. They could be um, renovating. They could be, you know, creating something with their hands or it could be business related. But there's definitely a pathway that they're going on where they are just feeling really strong and um, guided and, and they have this concentration and focus and they do feel supported by the universe. I'm getting that quite strongly here as well that they are moving forward in life and not listening to other people they're not being influenced they're just staying very concentrated and um uh what's the word it's like very focused on where they're going okay so that's amazing that's what their current energy is so what's your current energy where are you at right now what are you doing all right let's have a look so you're rising above it says, I see only beauty and grace. Isn't that beautiful? So we've got the lotus flower, it looks like here. And this person is rising above, okay? Rising above. They've got the, the aura of golden light around them. They're just feeling like they're free. They're rising above issues, perhaps. Let's have a look at your cards here. What's this about? Rising above. Oh, wow. Look at this. Love. You might be feeling really good around love right now. You're manifesting this. Wow, guys, your energy is really strong when it comes to manifesting love. For some of you, there may actually have been a reunion, okay? Or there may be just this really strong feeling that this is really about to come together right now. It's about to manifest. Look at this. We've got the third one here, which is number three. Take the lead. Now, this is the three of wands, which is all about sitting back and waiting for something. You're waiting patiently for something to return to you. This is balls, man. <laughs> That's my new word. I've got a 10-year-old. He loves that word. So it's what I've been saying lately. It's amaze balls. You know, this is the, t this is the feeling of rising above, being so confident, being happy. Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's like being focused, but it's also, uh, I'm getting the word cherished. It's almost like you're cherishing this moment. You're cherishing the feeling of this manifesting into your life. You're taking the lead. You are sitting back waiting. You've put it out to the universe what you want. You've got your arms wide open now for this to come in. And for some of you, as I said, this has happened. There's either been contact um, once, you know, again, from somebody that you haven't had contact with for a long time, or there's a, a commitment, a deeper commitment being made here. But it's just beautiful because you're sitting back waiting waiting um, for all of the gifts and rewards to come to you now regarding this. Now, what do you need to surrender to right now? What do you need to surrender to? <clears throat> all right, I've got the card here. I just want to grab it. Surrender to inner peace. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is where you're at right now is this inner peace. So cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So you're really putting this energy out there. Look how much golden energy is in these cards. Golden energy, golden energy, golden energy. Oh my God, golden energy and golden energy. This is amazing. So also you might be visualizing your connection with this person in a bubble of light as well which is really going to be protecting the connection so that is beautiful oh my god let's have a quick look at what challenges your person is um undergoing right now what is their challenge right now launching their journey so i am an intrepid traveler i think that's the word sailing forth into the universe Let's have a look at what's going on. Oh, look, this is the person, the two of Gabriel, the two of wands, somebody who's about to embark on a journey. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're about to embark on a journey. They're gaining their courage, right? 
and they're sharing visions with others, like we saw in their in their energy. They're they're uh, collaborating with others. They're making something come about. They're focusing hard on their journey. See, they're making something come about with others. So they're about to go on a massive journey. But there's some challenge going on here. So let's have a look what that is actually about. We're going to have a look at this. What the actual challenge is here? What is the challenge? So there's an emotional aspect here. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. What I feel is because with this card, I always get the um, energy of courage, okay? And this is also about following creative passions, which we saw before, that they are very greatly focused on a creative um, passion of theirs. They're listening to their heart. They're moving forward. But there's also something I feel that's uh, perhaps... There is a little bit of doubt going on here for them as well, okay? That it might be because this feels like it's a new path for them as well. So it may be something that they haven't done before. Maybe they haven't jumped in before um, so strongly into this as well. And so they might have issues with trusting in the process, trusting that they will be able to really um, have it all together emotionally and physically, practically as well, financially, all the things together. They want to make sure it's all blending well together. See, there's the page of Michael, which is the page of swords. It's an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. So even though they're in a good place, because we did see them listening to their heart, moving forward into their future, they still have other people in their ear. I feel there's people that are doubting their path, so it, it can affect how they're doubting their path. This could be to do with you. Maybe they want to move forward towards you. Maybe even in their heart, they know um, really strongly and are assured and know that they want to be with you and they want to commit to that, right? That pathway towards you. And perhaps there's people in their ear telling them not to, telling them to um, back off from that connection, you know? Um, it could be that or it could be another part of their life that they're focused on right now in the material world. But there's other people who are perhaps jealous or trying to um, intervene, like get it, like interfere, I should say, and getting in, getting involved. And that's a, a challenge, I feel, for them because they are trying to really move forward and come into this really strong um, emotional st um, state in themselves as well. Like they're trying to come into this really strong, rock solid um, emotional being, you know, as well as creative and passionate and moving up in the world. But they've got these other people. It could be family, could be friends, could be an ex in their in their uh, mind, maybe in their face, you know, talking to them, just niggly little things that are putting doubt in their mind or trying to. Now, what do they need to surrender? What's the challenge? Yeah, look, surrendering low self-esteem because they have been on a journey of really having to go independently on their own. Feels to me like in the past they might have listened to others too much, but now they're listening to their heart and they're trying to launch into their journey and move forward on this new path with courage and, you know, really um, embrace their creative passions and their even it could be a romantic side of themselves really opening up and becoming that uh, like it's a very divine like a masculine energy of really owning their emotions and mastering them and you know they've got these other people trying to come in because they don't want to see them succeed in life so they're trying to they're going to have to surrender the low self-esteem so it says, you deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Um, because deep within all of us, there can be an inner child that suffers low self-esteem. And so when we're growing in life and becoming strong and independent and others around us are trying to pull us down, we sometimes can revert back to like that childlike energy and feel that we're being scolded or that someone's trying to bully us or, you know, it's that kind of energy. So this person's trying to release that en energy of a low self-esteem. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so let's have a look at where you're currently at. What are your challenges right now? What's your challenge right now? communicating freely I communicate from the depths of my being yeah because what did you have before you had um, I'm just having a look at yours where's yours I'm too busy looking at theirs now so I want to see what you had you had 
Surrender to Trust, I think it was. Or no, you you had Rising Above. That's what you had. Rising Above. So communicating freely. I communicate free. No, I communicate from the depths of my being. Okay, let's have a look at what this is about for you. Oh, wow. Refusing to see. This is somebody who's got mental conflict going on. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, some sadness from the past, perhaps looking into the past a bit, change your focus. And then we've got strength, okay? Trying to have self-control in this situation as well. There's something you might be holding back on saying, guys. All right, to this person perhaps or to someone else. Sorry, I was doing that. I was just trying to fix the cards up. I just want to have a quick look at what cards you had coming up here because... You had rising above, right? See, we saw that you were manifesting and really feeling good around love. But your challenge is about how you're going to communicate this because some of you are feeling like you're in between a situation. Um, and perhaps you've got one foot in the past, one foot in the future. And this is the challenge that the, the, the past can rear its ugly head sometimes and this pain can come up. And some of you are actually trying to push down the pain or it's that self-control it's being strong okay um, not allowing these things to come up and affect you you want to move past that now so let's see what you need to surrender surrender to your soul's path your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth embrace every lesson and every moment so this is amazing because this is telling you that every time something comes up in your mind where it's starting to be um, an issue where you're at the current energy you're trying to manifest something beautiful in your life and, and maintaining that beautiful positive energy but then you've also got some of this past stuff that's coming up that you haven't been able to communicate freely um, it's, it's about being able to realize the lessons in this as well, that there is a deeper meaning for why things went wrong. Okay. But I feel like some of you still need to be able to feel that you can express, um, how it made you feel, <clears throat> you know, because some of you are really holding on to it and some of you may be, um, afraid to express it in case, it stuffs things up as well. So you might be trying to be a bit of the peacemaker and not really want to go there with it, but it might be coming up for you. So some of you are sort of toing and froing, not sure whether you should um, bring up a topic with somebody or just let it go, you know, let it go. Um, but then there's the issue of, okay, if I, if I don't say anything, am I going to hold on to resentments? You know, that kind of thing as well. So that's something that's really strong there. Um, but you know, it just shows that there's reasons and lessons. There's, there's reasons for past pain. There's reasons people come into our lives and teach us things. You know, they are teaching us things that we need for our life's path and our souls of evolution. Um, so it's just reminding yourself of that. Okay. And also on another note, some of you might feel that you can't spiritually grow until you're able to express what needs to be expressed so you can release it and it's clearing the air so to speak as well so some of you are in very much two minds about whether to address a topic or not um, and that's something that you need to perhaps work out within yourself what you're going to do around that you can work on it yourself behind the scenes through counseling or meditations or different therapies or different kind of um, rituals perhaps where you like you know spells with what is it release spells or something like that or forgiveness and healing meditations or heart chakra clearing whatever it might be that you need to do but there's something you need to do there so let's see what you want your person to do right now what is it that you want your person to do right now <clears throat> you want them to reveal their radiance so my light illuminates the world you want them to shine. You want them to show their inner light. All right, let's see what this is about. So, oh, wow. Six of Gabriel is victory, guys. And we see them moving into that victorious path, don't we, where they're, they're wanting to succeed in life. So congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotions. This is victory. So you really want this for them. You want them to... Um, shine their light and just move forward in life and not worry what others have to say. You want them to um, 
reap the benefits of what they're actually doing. You know, they're putting a lot of hard work and effort into their um, path and their life. And, you know, it takes time. So they've got to take time to sit back and rest now. They, they have to be patient. So, yes, you can see that they are on their way. But you also realize that they have to be patient on their path as well. And they've invested a lot in this path. So they've got to be patient, wait for the harvest, review their progress and make plans for the next endeavor. Um, I feel like you guys recognize and realize that this person is making an effort, okay? They are making an effort on their pathway. Look at this. The page of Gabrielle is creativity. This is amazing. Follow your passion. My God, they are following, following their passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. You are seriously wanting this for this person to come into this great, confident, optimistic, brave energetic playful kind of energy it's very inspiring you know and i feel like for you guys this is what you see in this person already and you just want them to be able to illuminate that within themselves and so that they can recognize this light that glows within themselves and you know this is beautiful because you just want the best for them and you want them to succeed you want them to evolve you want them to move up in life so that is just gorgeous what do you want them to surrender Oh my God. You want them to surrender to success. This is what it's all about. They're all in alignment, aren't they? So you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Wow. So you definitely want this person to succeed, push forward, be confident on their path, not listen to other people, just be true to themselves and surrender to success. That is amazing. So what do they want with you? What do they want you to do? Soaring into joy, childlike wonder fills my life. So they want you to really be happy and playful. Uh, where's your cards here? Being carefree, right? Observing. Oh my God, look at this. Observing the life, um, the you know, your life in the world through the eyes of a child. Being playful, being joyful. Um, seeing something through a different perspective now, nurturing, this is the nurturing, this is the Empress energy. So this could be Taurus or Libra because uh, Venus rules the Empress um, and Taurus and Libra are the Venus um, signs. So this could definitely be applicable to some of you who are those signs. But I'm just saying that this is just beautiful nurturing energy. They want you to nurture your energy. They want you to nurture your physical life, your physical body, just your soul, just being happy in life, seeing life through the eyes of a child, um, nurturing your spirituality. All right. This is what they want. And they want you to see the opportunities that life is giving you as well. See, opportunity beckons. Um, Yeah, they really want you to see the opportunities because sometimes we can miss out on an opportunity or we're not taking an offer that's coming by. But I really feel that this is to do with self-nurturing. They really want you to nurture your self. They want you to go within, even to the inner child, and really take care of yourself and heal. You know, heal yourself, um, not take life so seriously. There's something perhaps you've been taking really serious, seriously and they just want you to be able to just be happy and joyful in your life. What do they want you to surrender? Surrender to wonder and awe, just like a child would be. So open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. This is just beautiful because sometimes when we feel like we've lost an opportunity, especially if you feel like you've missed an opportunity with this person and you might be dwelling in that, they don't want you to be stuck in a sad energy, okay? Being able to just move on and not saying move on from them, but moving on from that kind of energy now. Remember we saw your challenge where there might have been some past hurt or something that you feel like you uh, need to address or deal with? They're saying that, you know, nurture yourself be really attentive to yourself and to your world, your, your immediate world in front of you. 
even be around children. It could be family related as well, okay? Being around children, being youthful, being playful, seeing the world through the eyes of a child and being able to just be free. They want you to soar into joy. They want you to be happy. All right, so what have we looked at here? We've looked at your energy, their energy. We've looked at the current challenges. And we've also looked at where each other wants each other to be. So let's have a look now at the temporary outcome, okay? So when I say temporary, life's fluid, anything can happen at any time. But let's have a look at what their temporary outcome is. What are they going to do? This is for March, okay? Emerging into grace, I open my soul to grace. Now, this is just beautiful. Oh, my God, that's gorgeous. Let's have a look at their cards. Okay, so the four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. This person has really... Um, been held back in life by others I feel where they have missed out on opportunities and that's why they're so driven now and focused on succeeding okay which could be towards you could be the relationship they're trying to work towards with you or it could be as I said before a career path or something they're working on but there's just something that they're emerging into they're going to emerge into this grace I feel like they're going to really do a bit of a life review within themselves Okay, let's see what this is about. Beautiful. They're coming, they're becoming strong. They're finding strength, emotional strength, okay? Strength and grace through kindness. Wow, there's the word grace again, emerging into grace. Um, self-confidence, see? We saw the low self-esteem before. Self-confidence and forgiveness. Now, this could be to do with the Leo energy. It might not be, but it can be um, to do with the Leo um, but this person's definitely coming into their own strong power, which is just fantastic. Look at this, the moon. Now, this could be a Pisces. Um, but the moon is all about that which is hidden. The I feel like it's the internal emotional stuff going on here within them. And we did see the high priestess before in their cards where they're coming into their own intuition and following their heart as well. And it says the opportunity. See, we're looking at opportunities with the four of Raphael. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance and face your fears and grow stronger. So this is exactly what they're about to do. OK, for March, they're just going to really just keep moving on, go within themselves. They're going to do a little bit of a reviewing going on internally and trusting in their instincts and being strong and moving past people or anyone that's getting in their way, those obstacles, even their own low self-esteem that could be coming up as a doubt or whatever, they're going to just push through it, I feel. And they're going to surrender to what? They're going to surrender. Wow, their belief in scarcity. So maybe this is something that they have had to deal with in life. Maybe they've lost out, okay? So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life, which we just talked about, and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Oh my God, these are so in line with these messages. So this person is going to surrender this belief that they have lack, okay, that they're, that they're not good enough to succeed. They're going to overcome this, which is just damn amazing. Oh my God. They're not looking back now. They're not going to be held back now. And it's not a nasty energy. I don't feel like um, they're lashing out at anyone or um, in a very heavy kind of energy. It just feels to me that they're just moving forward now. They just, uh, they've got their eyes focused on something. See how he's looking ahead? They've got their eyes just focused on something. They're not backing down. They're not being swayed in any way even when the doubts arise they're not being swayed they're going to get back up and just continue on their path which is just damn amazing now what is it that they want to say to you right now what do they want to say regarding all of this oh fell on the floor what is it so hold on to the happy memories and cherish the sad ones as they, uh, as they both bring great lessons. 
This is so amazing to me because we saw in your cards that there was sadness. And they're saying, hold on to the happy memories. Cherish the sad ones because they do bring lessons. We saw that about you with your lessons, okay? We saw that about the lessons with the soul evolution, etc. So they're reminding you that everything's happening for a reason between you. For whatever reason, it's for a higher purpose. And that I do believe this person is going to make their way to you. You know, maybe this hard work they're doing is getting their life in order or getting themselves out of a, a situation or relationship that's holding them back from being with you. You know, it just feels like they're very intently working on something. Um, and it's, it's really strong energy. Like they're really working hard on something to achieve where they want to be in life and really succeed. And they're telling you to hold on to the happy memories, be positive. Okay. Be positive about the sad ones as well. All right, let's have a look at where your temporary outcome or action is. What is your temporary action or outcome? Planting seeds. Wow. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile, fertile soil of my soul. That is beautiful. And you've got the word grace here as well, which is amazing. Okay, let's have a look at your cards here. What is your outcome? Temporary outcome here. Going with the flow, guys. Wheel of fortune. There's a change in direction in fate and destiny. Going with the flow. Wow. Well, I just picked up two cards. They must be the ones. We've got the Hierophant, which is lessons and learning and opening up. So you guys are planting seeds, right? This is something you're starting to do in your soil, uh, in your soul, in the soil of your soul, I guess you could say. And what it's showing me is that you're starting to... This is part of those manifestations. This is what you're doing through manifesting and doing your affirmations and visualization powers here. You like your, your tools, you're using them, you're planting the seeds and you're going to go with the flow, okay? And realize that everything happens for a reason. This is the lessons. This is the hierophant. This is your spiritual path, your sp higher wisdom coming through here, which is also helping for the flow to happen okay because you're starting to realize that things happen for a reason um and you're going to start planting seeds i believe where um like new seeds it's going to be new seeds where you feel like okay in the past that didn't work so i'm going to now plant new thoughts in my mind i'm going to plant new activities in my life i'm going to be doing all these new things for a whole new life a whole new path and this is the new direction here so that is amazing. Now, the Hierophant could be a Taurus energy as well. And then we've got open up. So in your material world, you're going to want to um, not hold on so much to things, like not hold on so much to the past or not hold on so much to what you're planting. You're just going to plant them and just let it evolve, okay? Let it evolve. Let it flow. Let it grow. That's what you're going to do. And you're going to surrender. <laughs> you're going to surrender to your full power. That's amazing. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Because we saw you in the very beginning rising above, okay? We saw you rising above. I want to see where that card is now, rising above things. I can't even find it. But you are rising above and manifesting all this amazing power into your life. And that's where this comes from, planting seeds, going with the flow, Allowing the lessons to come in, letting go of the past hurts, coming into your full power now. That is just amazing. So you really moving into a strong energy if you're able to just hold on to that, the positivity, right? Manifesting this into your life. And what is it that you want to say to your loved one? What do you want to share? What do you want to say to them? I am sending you signs. <laughs> so you're very much part of your manifestation is also with your focus. Your intense focus is on, um, you know, you are so intently focused on them that you are in the physical world manifesting signs that they're seeing. And they will hear your name, you know, as they're passing by people talking or something, or they'll see your name on TV or 
it's just like um, any kind of significant message or symbol that you shared between the two of you or a song, you know, that kind of thing can come up in their life. And that's what I feel is happening when you manifest or when you're putting your thoughts on this person in a positive way. This is what you're bringing into their life, into their reality, into the physical. And so they're seeing those signs and you're sending these signs through that. Um, and I just think that's amazing. Like you, you both are very connected. Um, it may be that you are together, but you've just got so much going on in your lives that you just can't fully commit deeper into this, you know, connection. Um, or it may be that you have had time apart and you just now need to work on yourselves a little bit more. There's still some work to do on either side. But it's so positive. I mean, your person is coming into their full power. You're coming into your full power. It is just amazing. And by the time you both do your inner work, I feel you'll be really strong in alignment to be able to come together if that is what you're meant to do. So I just find that just amazing. Like the energy is just so gorgeous. And I hope that's helped you today. I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Mm -hmm.